WASD to move. Inventory. What? What fucking? What? <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> of all things. Inventory. What button is that? Is that? Would that be an? That'd be a U. You or I? I would make more sense. That's too many letters. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it's I. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, I guess I should have. Hey guys, Jeff here. Welcome to Smart Shenanigans. I'm stupid and forgot to start this sooner. Um, TV anchor, we interrupt this program for breaking news. The world's gonna end tomorrow. So this is a game. Hold on. I'm gonna hold. On, hold on. Alt F4. Pause. <laughs> Hey guys, Jeff here, and welcome to Smart Shenanigans. Today, we are going to play Final Hour. Now this is a game that I found again on itch.io. From what I've read, it's basically the world is going to end in an hour because of a star that's about to explode. You kind of have to like make your final connections with your neighbors before the end of the world. Look at the credits real quick. These are the credits. You can pause and look through it. I guess I should move my face. There we go. Now you can see the credits. Let's get going. I love the music. We interrupt this program for breaking news. Astronomers in Hawaii noticed a star that is only 20 light years away from us, and it is now showing signs of going supernova. If the star explodes, scientists expect the blast to obliterate Earth's atmosphere and kill all life in a matter of minutes. It's possible the star will remain stable but experts aren't opt opti ugh. but experts aren't optimistic. They believe that the impact will have hit by the end of today. If it happens, it will wipe out all traces of human existence. God have mercy on our souls. Let's see some movement. I okay, it is I. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if I left this in or not, but the controls. If you look at them, they make no sense. It's not an actual keyboard. <laughs> Like, if you count from one side, it's you. If you count from the other side, it's like O or something like that. So it just didn't make sense. I kind of guessed it was I. Uh, what is that? Item. You picked up your watch. It fits your wrist perfectly. Cool. It's 1 p.m. Andy, where are you going? You're leaving? But what about Miss Karen's sermon later? She'll be mad if you don't do what you're told. You really are determined to leave, huh? As long as you're back before the sermon starts, I guess I don't care. You should take your watch with you when you go. Just be back before the sermon. She said it'll be at 9. It will be your fault if we get punished again. Okay. The world's gonna end in an hour, who cares? Blake. Oh hey, what you up to today? The rain got through the roof again last night. I didn't get much sleep. That's unfortunate. Oh, I... I heard Karen is going to- oh god, she's in a different today. I'm not sure what's up with her, but we still have to go. Wonder if it's related to the news we heard this morning. I'd leave and explore the world with you, but I'm too afraid to go out. But be sure to tell me what it's like out there when you're back. Will do, sir. What do you want, Karen? I'm assuming you're Karen, yeah. I expect to see you at my sermon with the others tonight. Very womanly voice there, yeah, as you can tell. What did you say? You're not interested? Hell no. How dare you? You've always been the troublemaker of the group. Go sit in the timeout corner and don't leave until the sermon begins. Are you acting this way because of the news? The world ending? <laughs> as if that would make any difference to you. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck here and always will be. I expect to see you sitting in the corner for the rest of the day. No. What are you gonna do? Stop me? <laughs> it's just a, just, a, just a random ass roadblock. Okay. I don't know if I go back in. That's all the same. I don't want to talk to you guys anymore. I only got an hour. I gotta go. How? Oh my goodness. You can just go through all the woods you want. I hope the music in this isn't copyrighted. If it is, it's going to be very disappointing. I guess we kind of have to go this way, don't we? Oh, I'm not in control. Hello? 
Barry and Jerry. Hey, kid. You look lost. Let me introduce myself. I'm Barry, Mr. Flake's right-hand man. And this is... Well, I'm Jerry, left-hand man. We're looking for a guy named Eli. He's known for his bright blue eyes. Hard to miss. He's the only person in the town with those eyes. You haven't seen this guy? At all? All right, then. Okay. So, blue eyes. Is there anything in the woods that you can get? Like, how, how exploratory should I be? I don't, I don't think it matters. It seems like I couldn't. Hi, you're a sunflower person. Let's go for the roses first. Found a bunch of roses. Cool, I have roses now. That's exciting. There's a lock on the gate. All right, Mr. Sunflower Man, who are you? Flower. There's gonna be too many characters in this to do voices for all of them. I saw you pick some flowers just now. You have a good eye. Roses are one of my favorites. Someone is gonna be happy with those. Yeah, I'm just gonna say the same thing over and over again. Okay. Cool? Well, they went that way, so I'm gonna go down first. Blue eye guy? Oh, another flower person? That's kind of cool. Can I go into any of these houses? All right, I guess we're just gonna talk to the person. Bud. <laughs> hey, bud. Why is this happening? I'm too young to die. There's so much I still want to do with my life. Then do it. You have an hour. Why? Why? I guess it, it seems like everybody only has two lines, so I probably could have talked to the other people in the school first, but whatever. Smoke here. Nope, can't do anything with it. Can't read any of the signs. Oop, there's coins on the ground, I'm guessing. You found a pile of coins. Nice. I want to pick the berries. Those look, those look like jelly beans. Is that just me? Flakes. All right, we're going into flakes. Oh, this guy's creep me out. Ugh. I don't like bugs. Bugs creep me out. They, they kind of just gross me out. Everything is sold out. Oh my gosh. Everything is gone. Canned beans sold out. Water and crackers sold out. I'm not prepared for doomsday. I need to find some food for my shelter. And the idiot owner is still selling everything for full price. What a bastard. Guess it's time for me to go out and beg. Buddy, I don't think it's gonna matter. I think, like, they said the Earth's atmosphere is gonna be blown off. Like, you're, you're kind of screwed regardless. Let's hope others are more kind. Mr. Flake. Hello! Welcome to my store. What brings you here? Oh, you came across my associates? Well, I guess I don't have to introduce myself. If there's anything you need, my store has it. I don't believe you. This end of the world shit is making me a fortune. People will believe anything they see on the news. Sadly, we've lost an employee recently, so we're a bit short-staffed. They'll be back soon, but we shall see about that. Barry and Jerry told you that he, uh, stole something from us? Yes, this incident happened some time ago, and we're still looking for him. Help me find a clue to his whereabouts, and there will be a reward in it for you, my friend. But if you learn where he is, and don't tell me, you'll suffer the same fate as him. What the fuck? <laughs> what if I don't want to help you? What about that, huh? If you find any clues about Eli, bring them to me immediately. I don't think I want to. If our lives are really going to end tonight, I want his to be cut short. Wow, you're a dick. I don't think you have enough money to afford anything here, little guy. Honestly, I wouldn't care if you took anything, but there's nothing to steal. Sorry, bud. The world is ending, and that asshole in the suit is still making me work. I hate this place. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're just gonna leave. If we find Eli, we need to report him to Mr. Bugsy, apparently, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I know he's gonna die if I do, so why, why would I do that? <laughs> Mr. Flakes? Mr. Flakes? Is that who that was? Mr. Flakes has built no credibility with me. Why would I? No. <laughs> Hi, pumpkin person. Clyde. Clyde sounds like he got a southern accent. Ugh. Alone till the end, huh? Guess I'll have to go through this by myself. You come with me. Maybe I'll spend my last moments with nature. That's such a good idea, dude. I'm... You know what? Screw it. We're just going to sit here for an hour. I'll sit with him at least.
I just realized you guys can't see the time on here. Maybe I'll spend my last moments with nature. There, now you guys can see the time up here. My bad. Cute little houses though. I like this place. Oh, it's a dirt path down here. It turns to dirt. Town. Oh, we're leaving town now. Okay. How big is this world? Oh my god. Let's. We've been going everything to the right, so we're gonna keep going that way first, and then we'll work our way to the left, I guess. Have poop. Oh, it's boot. It's a boot. You found a boot. Gross. It stinks. I mean, probably not more than poop would. <laughs> oh, that's it. All right, cool. We got a boot, guys. Can we put everything in? Can we plant the flowers in the boot? Can we combine things? Now, like, nope. And it's obviously not a real hour unless this is going by 15 minute increments. Nothing down here. To the beach! Yo, let's go spend the last hour on the beach. That's disappointing. <laughs> Let me go to the beach. <laughs> I want to go to the beach. Huh. So, there. what was the point of coming down here? What is the point of all of this? <laughs> I guess we'll go back up to town. There's one more route we can go. So, let's, let's go, I guess. This is such a cute game. I love this. I've, I've never actually sat down to play a, a game like of this nature. Oh, there's two more rats. Wait, is this the store over here? God, my brain does not work for maps like this. Ugh. I wish there was a map you could hit and that would show up with stuff you've like seen. Like if you could hit M and just bring up a map of everywhere you've been and everywhere you haven't gone. Like, like maybe not show up with what you haven't gone yet, but like show the paths at least. I don't know. Well, the only other option, because up up there was the flower person with the gate that was locked. We don't have a key. So I guess we have to go left? Oh, it's those guys again. Great. Barry and Jerry. Uh, stay away from me. Can I just avoid you? Oh, you're just going to keep walking. Oh, can I interact with you then? <laughs> oh, God. What were their names? Or what were their voices? Uh, I don't remember. All right, we're making them up again. What's that? Shit, that's Eli Shoe. Take that to Mr. Flake. He'll give you a reward for that. I mean, it's just a shoe. Okay. I mean, I might as well, I guess. There, there's no point. Wait, is that a fire? Is that a fire? Why is it smoking? Uh, where are you guys walking? Why do you sound like that? Ah. No. I love this music, by the way. This is such cool music. All right, Mr. Flake, I got a boot for you. There's a boot. Ah, oh, you brought me something. Show me. We've wasted enough time. Aha, yes. This boot is part of my employee's uniform. You say it was in the middle of the woods? Excellent. Well done, kid. Seems like you can be trusted. So about that reward. I own the South Beach. It's private and relatively quiet. Go there. Enjoy your final hours if you believe in that nonsense. Now that we know Eli's last location, the real work begins. So we have a key now. There wasn't a lock on that, like, gate though. That was just straight up... Not a, That was just wood. But I guess we'll go check it out, because the other option, there is a lock on that gate up above, but that didn't say beach. There's a beach to the left down here. Oh, it's 3.30. I thought there was an hour. I guess we have more than an hour. How much time do we have then? Do we have until 9? Because that's when the sermon is. So what is this key going to do? There's no lock there. I know it's opened. Okay. Cool. That is kind of nice. That you're... Hi. I thought this was a private beach. What are you doing down here? What is this tube? What is this? Oh. <laughs> okay, what's up, man? Hibiscus! Sup, little bro? World's ending soon, man. Life is crazy. We're about to disappear like the dinosaurs, man. Speaking of dinosaurs, I've been hearing sounds like there's some kind of creature nearby. It's a seagull. Might be a T-Rex or some shit around here, bro. Armageddon. No chance I'm looking in that pipe. You should also stay away from there too, bro. I'm going straight for the pipe. What's in the pipe? That doesn't look like a friendly thing. 
or run away from this thing. What are you? You're trash passion, kid. You know where you're at. God, why do I do all southern accents? Last week, this foul stench and dirty water came out of nowhere. And now you? Flake let you in? Damn that fly. Constantly provoking me. He's always inviting people a little too close to my turf. The sewers are my territory. That bludgeon bastard thinks he can do as he pleases. One of these days, I'm gonna squash him. Please do, he's kind of a dick. I'm already in a bad mood, now get out! Have you heard the news? World's ending. What you still doing here, kid? I told you to get lost! Okay, I'll leave. Okay, that, that's it for here, I guess. This is really cool. I love this. <laughs> I don't know how many times I can say I love this, but I love this. Wait! Hey, man! I see that you have some roses with you. Where'd you find them? You're telling me you picked the last ones? Man, I got a big favor to ask you. I need something romantic to confess to the love of my life, Lily. And time is running out. Do you think I could take those roses off your hands? Of course. Thanks. Oh, I didn't have an option. Okay. <laughs> I really owe you one. Not like it'll matter after today. Anyways, thanks, man. I really got lucky we crossed paths. I'm finally prepared to confess my love to her. God, why do I keep going into a southern accent? What is up with me today? Wish me luck. Good luck, man. You got this. Believe in you. Okay, do we keep going up or do we go right? Then we'll go back into town. 6 p.m. Oh, fuck. Okay, time is actually moving. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. I should have checked those first. Hi there. You're... Um, don't jump, please. Are you here to behold the sea, too? Actually, honestly, I would love that. I, I love just watching the sea. By tomorrow, nothing will exist here. Everything that happened before, it will be undone. There will be nothing left. Soon, all of us are going to turn into dust and disappear. Maybe this is all God's plan. What choice do we have? I guess sometimes we just need to accept things. I wonder why this is the fate we have been given. I don't know, lady. Go swimming. I can't go over- Oh, I probably have to come from the other side to get there, huh? Because that's like partial town, so I'm assuming I have to loop around this way, and then... I'm assuming it's going to go up and around? Mary. Oh, hello, dear. What's your name? My name is Mary. You're from the orphanage, aren't you? Oh, my God. Oh, this is your first time outside? My goodness. Since you are familiar with the area, let me help you out. In this town, we have a beach, a beautiful forest, and a graveyard. I'm assuming the graveyard is up north where I, where the gate was. If you ever get lost, there are signs around that can help guide you. Why did I choose this voice? I didn't think she'd be talking this much. I've always felt so sorry for you kids, especially knowing the condition of that building. Children are such a blessing. I wish I would have had more time with mine. If you need anything, just come and find me, okay? I live near the beach, close to the dock. Grace, I hope I made enough wishes. I used to have all the coins in my piggy bank. Oh, you have some you can give me? Oh yeah, the coins, why not? Thank you so much, now I can make more wishes. You're a hero! Everyone will be so happy when we save the world. I wish I was brave just like you. Oh, it's becoming nighttime, we have 30 minutes, oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna die! <laughs> Well, I'm assuming we have- oh, we're back here. Interesting, okay. Oh, because I never went that way! And oh, and that gate was probably locked before I t okay, so now... The only other option is to go up north to the gate- Was the boss happy? You're making us look bad, kid. We've been searching for days now. Get better at it. You're searching so slow. Getting schooled by a kid. You keep this up and we'll have a problem. Shut the fuck up! Why are you, all of you wanting to fight people? Since you might not know, Mr. Flake owns a store on the left side of town. I, I know. Oh, what was his voice? Fuck. If you need something, we'll have it. He'll have it. I, I, I know. I already talked to him. Can I go up? Has this opened yet? <laughs> Can I get in here? No? What do you have to say? Some people take my flowers to the graveyard, but it seems that it's closed today. Oh, so it's just closed today. Okay, so I just can't go up there. Okay. Um, da, ba, 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 ba. What else is there to do? We don't have much time. Oh, oh, okay. I'm assuming we just have to wander back here. Oh, it's sermon time. Right. 
Who is this? Oh, is that the... No, it's Andy. Oh, hey, you're back! You're just in time for the sermon. I don't want to go. Wait, what do you mean you're not coming back? You just came to say goodbye? Since this is the end, don't you want to stay with your family? How about the family goes on a field trip? To the beach that I now have access to. Oh, well, if that's the... If what the news said is true, I'll see you on the other side. Goodbye. Damn, that's so sad. Then come back! <laughs> Bye! Dang. Oh, I don't like you. Go away, go away, go away. That's freaky.